que empezaron a venir los profesionales aquí a Cuba y eso, como que el skate aquí evolucionó bastante, ¿me entiendes? Pues, pues no es lo mismo ver en los videos que verlos delante de ti. Te da más motivación. Y... Cuando empecé a patinar, me pusieron el skatepark de... Ahí en la parque de la Fuente de la Juventud, cerca de la casa, y todos los días había mucha gente ahí, skate, BMS, patines. Ahora mami, estoy en Cuba. Aquí nos reunimos todos los días. A las 7 de la 4 de la tarde, estamos todos los días aquí. Pero nos reunimos aquí porque no hay el plato de patinar. Patinas el día entero, otra vez no puedes patinar. Pero la policía, se parquea la patrulla ahí ya. En la calle, la policía te ve con una patineta, la gente te ve como que tú eres un niño mongo, un idiota que está patinando, perdiendo su tiempo. Para aquí en Cuba, la patineta es para los niños chiquitos. Para los niños chiquitos. Con lo grande que tú estés, montando la patineta. Bueno, hay gente, no sé, los profesores míos de la, de la primaria, la patineta me dicen, pero Reinaldito, ¿qué edad tú tienes? Tú todavía sigues en eso, ¿verdad? Serio. La verdad que a ti te gusta estarte dando golpes y no sé qué. Y, y, ya, esa es mi vida. Me conociste así, ya igual seguir mentir. Ya, la policía siempre. No, tú no puedes patinar por la calle. Tú no puedes patinar en este parque. Tú no puedes patinar por la acera. Eh, ¿Dónde patino, entonces? Tenemos un sueño. Solo nos gusta este deporte. Daría... Es profesional, por así decirlo. No tenemos, no tenemos las condiciones para eso. No tenemos parque, no tenemos tabla, zapatos, no hay nada, no tenemos recursos. Hay terrenos para hacer un parque, pero ellos no quieren dar ninguno. Lugares para jugar fútbol hay en todos lados. Que nos pueden hacer un parque ahí, dar un permiso. Tú sabes, esta gente aquí que están muy viejos ya. Pero eso va a cambiar. Porque eso siempre está tenemos un poco de problema con la policía, pero lo que uno ama siempre lo defiende. Y eso va primero de todo. That's a good idea. A little turban. When you had the guy jack my hat. I couldn't even tell him no. He was like, Los Angeles, I love that. And he was like, shut the door. He was like, let me get you some cigars for that hat, please. I was like, all right, dude, you have it. It's amazing, huh? One of my favorite places in the world I've ever visited. My grandma's Cuban. So she, she left Cuba when she was um, 16, moved to Jamaica. That's the only links I've got. The bike drivers, they're like, where are you from? I was like, okay, so he's like, hell yeah, the bomb is coming tomorrow. I was just trying to sneak a shot. I was like, this dude's playing piano behind a fence in, in his house. He sees me straight away. I'm like, oh shit, like, all right, the moment's gone, whatever. He jumps up and invites us to his home, and he was just like, come, 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 like, check this other room, and it's full of pianos. And... It hasn't happened anywhere else in the world for me. You have this community of people that are really accepting to you. If I was dropped in a random country, I would try to find a skate park, because I would know those people, like, somebody would be like, yo, what's up? Let's kick it, or like, you need help with something? You know what I mean? Like Orly was saying yesterday, he might not know somebody when he goes to the provinces, but if he sees someone skateboarding, he considers that person to be a brother or sister. That's your passport to a global culture. Yo nunca había visto esto. Porque tenemos un parque que se llama Acapulco. Y todos los viejitos, personas mayores, están como que no están de acuerdo con que de tener una pila de muchos chicos patinando ahí. Y a ellos les molesta eso. No hay Look at that kid. He's gonna want to skate. That's how I started skating. I just saw it on TV and I was like, that looks fun. 
and then I tried it, and then it's been fun ever since. Yeah, they were like, didn't matter if it was bolts, they were like aiming for the tail, it didn't matter. If they saw the board coming towards the ground, they were gonna try to land on it. It didn't even matter if it was upside down or anything. They were just like, let's go. <laughs> Yo, what's up, man? I like that it was just a bunch of kids skating, and then it was like, this is it. I'm like, oh, okay, there's no, no kind of organization whatsoever, you know? Zero rules. <laughs> what did you just sign? I guess his ID or something. <laughs> QSK man, QSK. Na foto filmando. Oh. That one took 20 minutes. That was more like 45. I hate it. I hate it. They're like, come to water. I'm like, I'm gonna be like your I'm gonna be too cold later. What is your sport? What do you do? He asks you. He thinks that you're a boxer, that you're a boxer. Dancing? Boxer. Boxing? No. Do I box? Boxing. Oh, no, I'm boxing. not a boxer. No, 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 I'm not a boxer. I skateboard. Yeah. He's a bull. I don't understand. He's a bull. He's a bull. It's still in the sense if we come every two months with 100 skateboards, what happens in the time when we're not here? And how do they find their own sustainability for not having to rely on folks who come from other countries to support skateboarding? Lo voy a patinar dos semanas que un americano aquí, dejar de patinar tres meses así con tres pullover y dos tablas, ¿me entiendes? Es una locura ahí. Quiero seguir patinando y poder salir de aquí y conocer otros lugares. Imagínate en otros lugares del mundo patinar en Barcelona. Barcelona está lo mejor para patinar. Yo me voy de aquí si esto no cambia. Me voy. Me voy a volver viejo aquí, estoy perdiendo mi juventud aquí. O sea, lo que es estar encerrado en una isla aquí toda tu vida. Ya no estoy para eso. No sé. Sigo patinando porque es lo que me hace sentir bien. Pienso que siempre puedes hacer lo que te guste, aunque no vas a lograr nada. Es refreshing how tight knit it is. With here, it just seems like they're trying to really unite people and get everybody together and skate together so they can grow as a whole. At the end of the day, it's like all the same. You know, if you take away the newest trick and the newest gear, and it's like this is our little toy or instrument or whatever that we just ride. To be a skateboarder in Cuba, you really have to love it to do it. And they're doing it for the pure love of it. There's no other agenda for it, so it's rad to see. I just hungry in it, I just love skating. Like yesterday, they were just going at it for like hours down that set of stairs. Like all of us, like, we want to like do trips here and like figure out a way to help everyone else with like, you know, like skateboards, like grip tape, like just standard shit so you can actually skate. Oh, shit. Every
everything popped up. Yeah, bored, fucking. <laughs> Damn it. I was like, yo, that's it. <laughs> el skate lo estamos preparando ahora mismo y queremos hacer una cooperativa como para facilitarle a los jóvenes aquí que cuando en un futuro no, no vengan gente a ayudar, tener ahí por lo menos como una tienda, una cooperativa que se le pueda vender a los chicos las cosas baratas, no, que no les falte las cosas.